Yeah, Keith yeah, Stanfield coming. and Ryan Tedder. Now, Ryan, we love One Republic's new single, West Coast. <laughs> Sutton is going to be another smash. But I didn't... The song took you five years yeah. to finish, which, I, having never written a song, I don't know, but it does feel like a long time <laughs> to uh, write a song. Is that typical? Why five years? That's not typical. Uh, what happened is I had the chorus five years ago, and I didn't have the verse lyrics, as happens a lot of times. Like, the first hit I ever had, Apologize, I had the chorus in 10 seconds, and the verse took me six months. But with, uh, with West Coast, I had it. We played it for a bunch of people, some people at the record label and some friends, and somebody, I don't know if it was label, whoever, was like, this song's incredible, but it, I don't think it sounds like you guys. And it, I got super insecure, because, like, that one, one person, like, said that one thing, and I shelved it and was like, I'm not going to return to this for a while. And then eventually... It circled back around and it popped up just on a, on a demo reel and I listened to the chorus and I was like, this might be my favorite thing we've done in five years. I'm going to finish it. And it was as simple as that. That's great. And now you're going to go out on the road, the never-ending summer tour. Yeah. What are some of your must-haves when you're on the tour? What are the little home comforts that you need? Candles, uh, obviously solid Wi-Fi. And then I travel, <laughs> I travel with... The, yeah, he knows. I travel with a... Uh, uh, a 1963 Airstream that I turned into a recording studio. Mm. And it follows oh, That's the one that's outside your that's house? That's the one that's outside the house. You take that on the tour. I take that on tour. So, like, I did, speaking of Adele, Adele, U2, uh, worked on Ed Sheeran stuff in there, like, One Republic stuff in there. So, on the road, I go crazy. It's, I hate venues. I hate sitting in arenas or sheds or, or theaters. They stress me out. I get crazy anxiety. So I have to have a place I can go and work and stay busy. And like when I was a kid, my mom was like, a devil's mind is the, or, or, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So I work throughout the day on tour writing songs, and that's kind of how I keep my sanity. Was that you just printing more money? That was me printing. That? That, was? Yeah. that was me that's printing was. Bitcoin, as you know. <laughs> as you know. Now, Lakeith, one of the great things about being an actor, you get to go into different environments, learn new skills, and you had to learn to ride a horse yeah. for, the, for the harder they fall. Mm. You said it was a life-changing experience for you. Mm. Why? In what way? The horses are beautiful, magical creatures um, that require you to step up to the plate and meet them halfway. And um, I was in a, in a state of mind at the time going in where I, I needed that extra push. I didn't know where I was going to get it. And I jumped up on the horse and I had reservations. And so the horse had reservations and it bucked me off. And I, uh, and I fell down, and they were like, oh, you don't have to get back on. I was like, what do you mean? Of course I'm getting back on. So I get back on the horse, and I realize I have to take control. I, I'm so connected to the being, I don't want to take control too much because I don't want to hurt it, but I have to take control just the right way. And so I do that, gain my legs, and then before you know it, within a couple weeks, I'm in a loo, and I'm actually riding the horse, and it feels like I'm flying and I'm crying because it's just so amazing, and I love horses. <laughs> I love that. Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? Yes, I do. Uh, tonight's question goes to... Oh, that was nice. Uh, our guest this evening. If you were confronted with the forces of darkness and the forces of lightness and the forces of grayness, what would you say to all of them as they approached? <laughs> Go on, Brian, you start with you, we'll come to you, Nikki. Be honest, what are you watching on Netflix at this moment? Okay. The Keith? I would say, hello, old friends. 110%ly correct. It's absolutely yeah. correct. Please thank the Keith Stanfield, Ryan Tedder, stick around. One Republic are playing right after this.